Hello and welcome. Today we're going to give you a walk around in depth of a typical four bedroom villa. If you're planning a trip to Florida then I'd strongly suggest have a look at the villa or apartment options. They give you so much more flexibility and they start from depending on the season and how big from 300 to a really good one probably four or five hundred pound a week. Um, so have a look, have a look online, have a look on eBay, have a look at what you can get. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. So this is a, a four bedroom one. You can see there you've got like a formal dining area. We walk through here into uh, the kitchen. Most of the Florida homes are on one level. It's very quite rare that you've got an upstairs and they all have this sort of open plan kitchen area in a corner. This one's got an island, got a computer there. Again, they all seem to have high speed internet now. Usually the, uh, there's already cable running to the house to run the cable channels on the TV. So you're sort of guaranteed very fast internet speeds. Coffee maker, dishwasher, cooker, oven, and the obligatory American really large fridge freezer. This one there, you can get it crushed ice, cubed ice, fresh water, filtered water. And again, we're not used to probably quite as big a fridges, but you need it. I mean, if you look at the size of the milk bottle there, I think that's one of the smaller sizes. It's a gallon, so uh, you're going to need something fairly chunky to pull that away. Waffle maker, something different. This one is the uh, little kitchen area there. And this is the living area of a really big TV screen. And it looks out onto a pool. You'll find all Florida homes have alarms on the gates to and from, or the windows to and from the pool. That's law in Florida. So they've got another eating area. You're sort of undercover there. This house has a, a very large pool. Unfortunately, it's raining tonight, but you can see that lovely and clean pool system running most of the time. And you've got lots of loungers, kids' toys, lots of chairs. This one's got a, a very good barbecue with a gas cylinder. So they really are a home from home. A bit of basketball, a bit of darts. This is quite unusual in a rental home, but this home has um, a hot tub, a six person hot tub. We've used this a lot. We've not had one of those before, but I'm sold on this. I think it's a fantastic thing to have. Let's see if we can get it lively. So that's currently at 101. So if you've got any aches and pains, that'll certainly take those away from you. And it's just such a great place to sit with your family or friends there and if you've got a bit of a storm that looks like a conservatory there but it's actually fine wire mesh you're, you're outside and um, you can watch the storms go by have a few beers fantastic i don't know if you can make that out there i haven't got any lights out there but that's the yard and this house has got um, some lovely play equipment and things out of it so uh, fantastic big thumbs up from us on this villa it is really hot, even though it's night time, really hot and humid, wonderful. All of the uh, villas you can rent, you'll find have air conditioning. Some it's set so you can't alter it, which can be a bit of a pain at night. They can be sometimes a little bit too cold for my liking. Now this one's got a pool room. That table flips over and then it's air hockey. Often you'll find pool tables, even pinballs, we've had in some of the garages, the big double garages of these houses. Uh, this is better because obviously if it's in the garage it's not air conditioned. So I'd say this has got four bedrooms. This is the first one. This is a kiddie room. And again, unlike a hotel or something, all your toys, everything you can need is here. This has got PS2, got a kiddie table there, you've got a cot, you've got loads of toys to play with. 
so I can't get to work. All the rooms have fans, and you've got bunk beds there. True home from home, look, it's just stacked with toys and games, uh, and the adult area's got board games in it as well. Into the second bedroom. So again, this is a very familiar format, two single beds in the second bedroom. Has its own telly and its own walk-in cupboards. Don't think you'll need those duvets. So these are uh, two bedrooms share this bathroom. and above. You'll have some cupboards that belong to the owners where they keep their private bits and pieces. Going into the master bedroom. This one's glorious. That's a TV in there. All en suite of course. her sinks and have a big huge walk-in wardrobe sort of jacuzzi bath separate standalone shower even got scales you can see how much money you put on how much money <laughs> you can see how much weight you put on in the all-inclusive uh, restaurants if you do decide to eat out that door there leads onto the, the yard. So I guess if you're watching this video, hopefully I've already convinced you. Think again if you're just thinking, oh, I'll stay in a hotel. Because if you're spending $40 a night in a hotel, you can probably afford to rent a house like this. I've uh, got all the machines going there. It's a big tumble dryer. And uh, American washing machines tend to be top loaders. So again, you won't be going home with a load of laundry you can stay on top of that you don't need to bring your own towels either all the houses come with all the towels you could ever need so you can save a lot of uh, space and weight there so this was formerly the garage and has been converted into a fourth bedroom with another awesome ensuite Two seats there, shower made for two. So we're into the second bedroom. This has got two walking wardrobes, brands and Bits and pieces for cots there. Another walking wardrobe. Irons, ironing boards, hair dryers, everything like that's going to be in the house. So you really don't need to bring too much. You can save that space, stock up on all those extra gifts and Disney esque and universal bits and pieces. So uh, I don't think this used to be a garage. I think this is amazing to give this house a fourth bedroom. So hopefully you like that tour, um, you'll find we've got lots and lots of videos on Florida. Um, we've uh, videoed a number of houses, you can have a look at some of the other ones we've stayed in. And I'm a great fan of this, so um, I really believe, get yourself a villa, two, three weeks, have a look online, see how much they are. Have a great time, you've got all the flexibility, you've got your own pool, just fantastic. So I say we've got almost uh, 2,000 videos now, a lot of them are about travel. So have a look at our sister channel as well, Mr. TripAdvisor, where you'll find even more details. And if you like this video, please click like, it all helps. And if you'd like to see more from us, please subscribe 
and just search Florida on our channel. See you next time.